Africa moved only one point. If thanks to countries like Libya, you can see how they are dampening uh, uh, the development. So we need to deal with the numbers really uh, uh, with that sensitivities. So we have uh, President Mary from uh, Robinson from Ireland and uh, President Atasari uh, from Finland. We are always grateful. We wish the conversation between civil society, the government. We see an improvement. It's not a fantastic improvement, but it is an improvement. So good news, but not fantastic news. We also notice that actually since 2000 to 2005, 2006, and six, there was the greatest improvement of government, actually. There was a real improvement there. But after that, it started to slow down. And for two or three years now, we have been raising the issue about the stagnation. Uh, somehow, uh, we, people got a little bit too comfortable. And I think we need really to continue the work. Uh, it's challenging. That is an improvement, but not a fantastic improvement. It's not enough. And of course, the soft area of rights and participation and human rights, etc. And then under that, this is the job of the government to deliver public goods to the population. And as such, it is measurable. We can measure this. And we want to move the narrative from, I like this president because he speaks well or because he sings well or dances well, to what actually his government delivered over the year. What exactly did to the people, etc. That should be the way we evaluate our government and the way we wish the conversation between civil society, the governments, business, all the stakeholders to be around facts, data. Uh, uh, with that sensitivities. Uh, it is really interesting. While in this case, actually, data shows there is improvement in health and education. And I just mentioned that two minutes ago. Actually, the African people's perception is different. And it is the red lines, and you see it is, it is, it is different from. And that raises a question. Is that because people's expectations are getting higher now? So they are not really satisfied with what been uh, uh, given. Is the social media now giving people that really view of what is available, what happens, what other guys are getting in other continents compared to what we're doing here? It is something really we need to understand uh, and look into uh, uh, a little bit uh, uh, more. Are Libya, Mali, and Egypt, each one has its own story. And you see the relationship when the index perhaps is the one thing that can help since we all read it mm -hmm. uh, as leaders even, even, and think of it in our own privacy mm -hmm. and see where we are being placed. Mm -hmm. I think that perhaps that's the most effective weapon against corruption at the top. So far as citizens are concerned, Governments who want to fight corruption, they can do so. And so that is finished, and then suddenly... Uh so if... Ten years ago, people would talk about the Africa premium or the Africa penalty. The, the penalty that different countries across Africa paid because people thought they had poor governance. And what the Mo Ibrahim Foundation and the Ibrahim Index have done is given us real information year on year about what governance in each of the 54 countries of the continent looks like. And that's shown people, first, that governance in many countries is good and improving, that there isn't an Africa-wide story. It's enabled people to, to think very carefully and use this dashboard in making more nuanced decisions. And secondly, the index has shown the importance that real information can keep you ahead of the curve. We see Rwanda for the first time, you know, appearing on the top 10, uh, moving up. If you look at it as a balance, 
and you look at all four of the major categories for the indicators, there's reason to be optimistic. Governance has actually gone up. I'm not as fast as it should because I think that the, uh, the personal security and, and national security, personal safety and national security indicators is dragging it down. But definitely if we can get that, if we can uh, have interventions that are smart um, and that help society itself address its problems, which is sustainable uh, peace, then I am very optimistic. Seychelles and Namibia. So we can see uh, there is still some move. Economics may be doing very well, but attention now must focus on distribution mm -hmm. and inclusion is vital. Now, the fact that rural economies are improving is good. Gender attention is good. But the educational quality issues worries me uh, enormously. Mm -hmm. And I will hope policymakers looking at the demographic dynamics. So child mortality is down. Attendance in the schools up but education outcomes falling suggests to me that we could be in a problem mm -hmm. in the next 20 years mm -hmm. when the famous demographic dividend window uh, shows up. Act everything down. You look at the right hand side, you see a country like Libya. Um, but if you look at that... Mechanisms are being put in place to minimize. I mean, there's no country where there's no corruption. But the question is, let's do our best to minimize it. It was best, best to, to make sure that there's, there's no impunity when, when people are corrupt and institutions are, are held accountable. I think this, that's the general trend in Africa now. The awareness is there, the willingness and the determination to say, let us do something about it. I think I, I can feel that in the continent. Any serious government in the continent today would want to wait for the index to see itself. Is it going up? Is it going down and all that? So the index is essentially addressing the fact that the motto in, a, in, in assessment, if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve on it. And this is why the index is here to stay. There's some really positive things that have come out of uh, the index uh, this year. Looking at it over a 10 year trajectory, I was particularly struck by the human development indicators. If you look at education, if you look at health, if you look at welfare, that there has been uh, a sustained increase in all of those indicators uh, on the continent. Now, that doesn't necessarily match with people's perceptions of where things are, but I think the fact that the data is telling us that things are improving against the backdrop where people's expectations are rising, I think that can only be a good thing. <laughs> أشعور عموما بأنك تعيش في مجتمع قائم على العدالة قائم على الحرية قائم على المساواة عندما نرى أن تدهور في مستوى الأمن ده نتيجة لابد أن نبحث عن أسبابه أسبابه كثيرة البطالة الفقر عدم المساواة إذا أردت أن أعمل على القانون وال 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 والأمن لابد أن أعمل كذلك على معالجة هذه الظاهرة لابد أن أعمل كذلك على معالجة الأسباب والأسباب في رأيي الأساسية الفقر عدم المساواة القمع البطالة كل هذه أسباب لابد أن نعمل عليها ونعمل معها بالتوازي لأنها كلها مرتبطة ببعضها الآخر